Moscow is destroying indigenous people in the meat grinder of war. Such words were heard at the UN from a representative of indigenous people. Siris Bolayan, who was born in Mordovia, said, the Kremlin does not feel sorry for Ossetians, Buryats and Erzia. The percentage of losses per capita among foreigners in the Russian army is much higher than of the Russians themselves. Most of the dead in Ukraine are not from Moscow or St. Petersburg, but from robbed Dagestan. He stressed that the leading regions in terms of the numbers of military casualties per thousand population are North Ossetia, Buryatia, Tuva, Dagestan, Ingusheria, Chukotka and the Edel Ural regions. Ukraine has already destroyed more than 23,000 occupiers who invaded Ukrainian soil at Putin's behest. Such data is provided by the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine. The soldiers themselves call even higher numbers. Bodies of Russian soldiers are scattered in the fields, on the streets, roads and the roadsides. Those who came to kill Ukrainians believe in the Kremlin. But now nobody tries neither to count them nor to find out their names. But the nationality is known. Dagestan is one of the poorest regions of the Russian Federation. Every tenth person here is unemployed. Many live below the poverty line. And that is why the army for a Dagestani is a chance to leave the poor region and earn some money. Even bribes are paid here to get into the ranks of the army. The irony is that those who pay to join the army return home in coffins or stay in fields. Instead of earnings, empty words of lying Russian TV channels. Ребята сражались с врагом, с врагом, который сегодня определил себя как угрозу всей нашей стране, всем нам. But no one explains exactly how the Ukrainian military located in Kharkiv could threaten the population of Mahachkala, which is 1500 kilometers away. Just as no one talks about how the armed forces of Ukraine could threaten the population of the Republic of Buryatia, Kharkiv is 6000 kilometers away. But still Burats have been fighting against Ukraine since 2014. Buryatia is the region number two in Russia in terms of mortality during the full-scale invasion. And Buryatia, like Dagestan, is one of the poorest regions. Here every tenth citizen is unemployed too. Meanwhile, the army gives food, clothes and work to do. And then, when the soldier returns home in a coffin, they will tell that he is a hero and fought bravely against the mythical Nazis. Еще один наш земляк погиб, исполняя служебный долг, участвуя в спецоперации на Украине. Первый груз 200 идет в Хакасию. В ходе спецоперации на востоке Украины погиб военнослужащий из Саиногорска. Во время проведения спецоперации вооруженных сил России на территории Украины погиб 25-летний житель Краснопартизанского района. Such messages were heard in all Russian regions. But the Kremlin quickly decided to keep details about dead soldiers and their relatives in secret. This data will now be available only at military enlistment offices. And they, of course, will not say anything to anyone, because the law will not allow. And there will be no honors or speeches about heroism at the funeral. Buried quietly, and that's all. At the same time, among the dead there are almost no citizens of Moscow or St. Petersburg. 10% of the Russian population live there. There are two reasons for this. The first one is directly contrary to the ideology of the Russian Federation. Muscovy enslaved national minorities, seizing their territory and destroying their culture and history. For Muscovites, they remain second-class people. And the second reason is that it's easier for Putin to send a poor man from the Far East than a wealthy Muscovite. Distant poor regions have become silent slaves of Moscow's masters long ago.